Hey, what's up? Ray here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. About two weeks ago, I sent an email to my subscribers asking how do you edit and resize and then organize your photos before you upload them to WordPress. Because I had a client just send me about 50 photos and it was the first time he'd contacted me for two years, so I was happy to get that many. But it made me wonder, you know, how many of you are doing this manually? Because you can automate this entire process. So I'm gonna go through my method today. And I grab a lot of my photos from this site, pexels.com. It's a free stock photography site. If I need to start a project, I'll go here until I can get content from my client. And likewise, you know, just on my own blog, I use these as featured images, and sometimes I'll do a little editing within Photoshop. But the thing is, these images are, are massive. Let me open up a folder here where I have some examples. And you can see I actually use these photos on my, on my uh, background, both on my MacBook and on my PC. So I put... 10 or actually I think this might be 12 yeah there's 12 photos here to use as examples and if I highlight them all you can see that the size is 33 megabytes a little over 33 megabytes and the dimensions in these they're gigantic I mean they go anywhere from like 2200 pixels width to up to 6000 and I don't like uploading pictures this big to my web server or my WordPress website I want it to be as lean as possible so the way that I do this is I put all of my images into this folder here. I have a folder on my desktop called Resize. I put all my full size images in here and then I have a subfolder called JPEG. And I think that this is automatically created by Photoshop, but then once they create it, you know, you don't have to touch it, just leave this as is. And that folder right now is empty and this is where all the resized photos are gonna go. Now I like to rename my photos. I'll usually add a two or three word tag. You know, if they're like I said, with my contractor client, if he's doing it by project, I might just do whatever the project is, kitchen remodeling, roof replacement, and then maybe add the city and state tag. But you can select all here on Windows and then right click the first one, hit rename, and I'll just call these nature photos. And I also normally like to just put dashes in between the tags instead of spaces. And what you'll see is when you hit enter here, they'll automatically number them for you. They, they do add a space at the end as well as parentheses around the numbers. And once you got all your photos renamed, you just gotta go into Photoshop. And I mean, if you, if you don't know about this, you're gonna be amazed at how easy this is. You just go File, Scripts, and then click the Image Processor. And you gotta set up your settings. Since I'm already set up, I can click the Run button. But just to quickly go through this, you select your folder to process the images. So I have my Desktop Resize folder. Then you can send it to a different folder if you want. I have it saved in the same location, and that's what creates that JPEG folder. And then here is the file type. So it's a JPEG folder because I'm saving as a JPEG. I have my quality set to 7, and I do my resizing with the constraints of an 800 pixel width and 700 pixel height. So this is going to go down from like 6,000 pixels down to 800. <laughs> so you're going to save a ton of space. And we'll just see how much once this runs. So I'll click the run button and you'll see it automatically just go through these. You know, I could walk away and get a cup of coffee if I want. And after just about 15 seconds, 20 seconds, we're done. We go back into our folder, go into the JPEG folder, and here's our resized photos. And if we highlight these, we're down to 1.4 megabytes. So that's a reduction of 96%. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> and I would guarantee most people don't do this step. So when you're done here, I would just select all these and upload all of these right to my WordPress media library. And what WordPress does is they clean up the file name. They actually remove all spaces and the parentheses and replace that with dashes. And just a quick note, you can also do that automatically on Windows if you like. That's why I have this other folder here called bat. This is for batch files, which it's basically just a series of commands that run through command prompt. So pretty much anything you do manually, like renaming folders, that kind of thing, you can automate through these batch files. And I'll give you a quick look at this one. I found this online and just kind of customized it to my own folder. I don't really know every single line how this works. But this is the batch file that does the renaming. So all I had to set was this folder, you know, users, ray, desktop, resize, JPEG. And 
basically this is a loop that just grabs any spaces with a JPEG ending and replaces that with a dash, which I guess is this line here. I'm not exactly sure how, how this works. I'd have to look into the syntax of batch files. But you can edit this in a notepad, in either Notepad or I have Notepad++ open here. And you can just click on this bat file and it'll run automatically. So I have one of these for the original folder and one of them for the resized folder. So let me just click on this and run it. You can see the command prompt window just popped up for a second. And then if we go back here, you can see that that space is now replaced with a dash. So that's up to you if you even want to do that step. Like I said, WordPress is going to automatically clean that up for you. And then once I finish this resize process, for my clients, I have two folders. I keep all their original size photos on my Dropbox along with the resize ones, which are added to the website. And for my personal use, sometimes I just get rid of the big you know, stock photo and just keep my featured image, whatever size I set that at. Completely up to you if you want to keep both files or just the optimized one. And then once you have everything uploaded to the WordPress media library, you can just insert from the media library into whatever posts or pages you want, or you can add a gallery, however you want to use it. So that's all I got for this quick video. I mean, if you're not doing this and doing it manually, this can save you so much time. And frankly, it pays for itself, the, the Photoshop subscription. This is probably the most useful thing that I love about Photoshop, even though I use it for a ton of other you know, photo editing tasks. The simple task of automatically resizing pays for itself. Now, like I said, I mainly do photo resizing and f use Photoshop through the scope of websites. Pretty much all of the images or graphics that I make end up on a website somewhere. And if you're interested in building your own website or freelancing with those skills, here's a couple of links that'll help you out. You can go to my homepage, websiteprofitcourse.com, and download a PDF that'll show you the 15 tools to start your freelancing business. This is specific to building websites and web design, but there's also other cloud tools and business tools that apply to all niches. And maybe you're more interested in blogging or you're just using WordPress for something else. I have a free WordPress training series that you can sign up for to get a full introduction on how to build, manage, and edit your website using WordPress, which is one of the most popular pieces of software that's out there on the internet today. Go to WebsiteProfitCourse.com slash WP101. I'll link that up here in the top right, and I'll also include a link to both of these in the description below. If this video opened your eyes to you know using tools to automate your, your processes and do things faster, Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below because I love figuring out you know, ways to save time and be more efficient. It's one of my favorite things. And of course, subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button if you want to get updates when I put out new videos. And I really like hearing from you, you know, hearing your projects, what you're working on, whether you're managing something for something else or building your own thing. I love to see people push their online business and learn these new skills that are going to become more and more valuable as the whole business world shifts to using you know, tools and resources like this to become more effective and do more with less. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch and I hope you have a great day.